Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by a retired captain of the United States Navy, a Naval Academy graduate known as Chopper when he piloted helicopters, F-18s, and was commanding officer of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. His memoir, Surf When You Can, Lessons in Life, Loyalty, and Leadership, from a maverick Navy captain, is out now. We welcome retired Captain Brent Crozier. Thanks, Sean. Good morning. How are you doing? Absolutely great, Brent. Let's go beyond the mic. Your sailors, always your first priority. They thanked you for your loyalty to them by standing at full attention, cheering and chanting your name as you left your ship. What do these men and women mean to you? Well, I think I think as a leader, essentially, that is your number one job is to take care of the folks that work for you. You're there to, to inspire them, to break down barriers. And I think when you do that right, you know, it's amazing what your organization can achieve. And I think uh, that proved to be true throughout my career. Something I learned early on, and I think I carried it through to the end of my career. And, you know, so seeing the uh, the sailors there on that send-off as I walked off the ship was certainly uh, comforting to know that they understood uh, why, you know, why that was happening and understood that my priorities had remained the same for throughout my career. What lesson almost made the book, but you left it out for one reason or another? That's a great question. Um, yeah, so most of the lessons in the book are obviously distilled down to things that, that make sense well beyond just leadership in the boardroom or the corporate side. It's It's really for life. and at almost any age, I think. I don't know. There's many. I think I ended up combining a bunch in there that uh, that were important to me. You know, the idea of uh, surf when you can, which is obviously the title, is really about a life work balance. And I think I tried to, to incorporate a couple concepts there, which is really, you know, you need to take time in your life to to surf, or you need to take time to do yoga, or work out, or whatever it is that you need to have for your balanced life. And I think that's that's important personally for any leader. But I also think it means that as a leader, you have to think. You need to find that time that gets you away from the office, you know, away from the emails and the phones and find a way to really kind of think those big thoughts. Because ultimately, as a leader, you're getting paid not only to take care of your people, but make those big decisions. So in the end, you know, I think I combined two chapters in there and it ended up being kind of the heart of the book, as it were, which is what I really mean by surf when you can. Because, you know, again, when you're on the lineup out there waiting for the next set to come in, you're you're generally not on emails or your phone or certainly the, the guys in the lineup aren't going to like you if you are. And, uh, and you're thinking some of those big thoughts while well, you're also thinking about surfing, of course. So I think it kind of ties in collectively with all those. Quote, it's okay to fail and be less than perfect as long as you don't give up and you continue to push your own limits, unquote. Looking toward your future, how do you want to help others push their limits? Well, I hope that folks that read the book understand, you know, again, what what it means, what I learned and, and what I'm trying to share. But, you know, personally, I've kind of uh, dove into the nonprofit world. I'm trying to help out uh, veterans that have uh, struggled you know, after they left the service for one reason or the other. And uh, and there's, you know, particularly in the homeless area for veterans in Southern California is where I focus my, a lot of my time right now. And, you know, all those folks are volunteered to serve their country, volunteered to sacrifice for the head to. And for one reason or the other, you know, they've kind of stumbled as they uh, after they left the service and, and they need help. So that's where I'm trying to do is inspire folks to continue to take care of veterans of, uh, you know, that need that help or anyone really that needs help. And, you know, when you look at the homeless problem, across the country. I think it's a, it's a complex, it's a sticky problem, and it takes a lot of effort. So right now, at least that's where I'm focused on, trying to build the team of the nonprofit I'm working on, Veterans Village of San Diego, and then help the veterans in the local area that need that assistance. The book is Surf When You Can. Captain Brent Crozier joins us beyond the mic. And Chopper, it's time for the Rocky and Eight. Eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is no pressure. No pressure. Favorite thing from the mess hall? Favorite thing from the mess hall? Pizza. You last talked to your best friend when? I uh, talked to him on the phone about a week ago. Which is the best challenge coin you've ever received? Best challenge coin I received It's probably from a Medal of Honor winner, that um, uh, Ryan Pitts, that I actually got recently, who uh, won the Medal of Honor there in Afghanistan and now works helping uh, kind of tackle some of the mental health problems for veterans are facing. He's a spokesman for the uh, Cohen Veteran Network. That's so cool. How about your favorite overseas port? Favorite overseas port, port is... Um, is Dubai, actually. I like the Middle East and all that Dubai has to offer. When did you paint the last room in your house? The last? So we only moved in a year ago, so I've basically done touch-up painting around the house. So full paint has probably been a couple of years since uh, we were in Lamore, California, and, and we uh, owned the house. I had to paint it before we sold it. How about the best thing about your wife, Mary? That she's here with me. Uh, it travels wherever I like to go and I always makes sure that I'm dressed appropriately. When now when I go out. My wife does the same thing. She dresses me to make sure I look good. After this entire experience, how do you find serenity? I like to, I mean, surfing is certainly a good way to 
to find that peace. Um, you know, whether I'm working out, I like to be physically challenged in some way. So I, you know, nothing better than to take a morning off on a Sunday and have one of my sons join me. We go surfing for the morning, come back and then kind of relax in the sun and, and tell, st- see stories about the bigger waves that no one else saw, but us that were out there on the break. But I think uh, being out in nature, being out in the water and uh, spending time with my family. What was your favorite hiding or quiet place on the Theodore Roosevelt? God, there's not many places you can hide. Um, I had a, so I had the luxury, you have two big staterooms or one big stateroom, one smaller one up by the bridge. And the big stateroom is pretty ornate and it's got, in fact, on the Roosevelt, I would say it's got memorabilia from uh, Teddy Roosevelt on the walls and it's big enough and it's, uh, it's fancy enough that it tends to deter people from wanting to come in there. So surprisingly, this big fancy office with couches and chairs was actually a place I could go and think quietly and read some of the stuff that uh, Roosevelt had written or we had up on the walls that, uh, to kind of honor him as the, the namesake of the ship. It's time for one big question with Captain Brent Crozier, retired. His book is Surf When You Can. He joins us beyond the mic. You've been mentored by Captain Chris Bolt, and you've mentored others. Why does accepting help and offering help not only make others better, but you better? Well, I think life's a team sport, and I think, uh, you know, there's no one out there that's successful by themselves. So whether it's surrounded by family or friends or mentors, I think it's, a, it's critical to have those relationships. So. You know, I think whether you're helping somebody or they're helping you is much like being on a ball field when you're a kid. I mean, it takes a team to do that. And, and the more you're willing to open yourself up, ask for help when you have to, help others when you can. And I think you're definitely going to be part of a stronger team. I think you'll enjoy life more. Where's the best place to surf in the world? Well, I can't give away my favorite place, um, but I like surfing uh, Hawaii. It's probably the best. I don't live there, but I like surfing Hawaii, whether it's uh, North Shore or just even Waikiki or White Plains Beach, which is the old the old Navy base there on the uh, southwest corner of Oahu. He loves pizza from the mess hall, a great wave, and he wants you to read Surf When You Can. Retired Captain Brett Crozier, thank you for your service and taking the time to talk with us today. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate the time. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic Shortcut. <laughs>